Hello, in this video you will learn about monoalphabetic substitution cipher technique and how we can encrypt and decrypt plain text masses using key. As in previous video we were talking about Caesar cipher. The major weakness of Caesar cipher is its predictability. The attacker can predict the cipher text masses. As you know in the English language we have just 26 alphabets. So for the attacker there is only 25 possibilities to try out so scissor cipher is not very secure now we have monoalphabetic cipher that is monoalphabetic substitution cipher it is also known as simple substitution cipher it depends on the fixed replacement structure and how we can encrypt the masses using monoalphabetic substitution cipher technique suppose we have a plain text message that is a, a simple message now we want to encrypt this message that is we want to generate the cipher text so how we will do we will replace each letter as the next letter in the alphabet so for a next letter after a we have b so we will encrypt a with b s with t i with j m with n p with q l with m e with f and so on so like that you can encrypt this message and you can also use different symbols for the encryption it is not like that you can use only letters now we have additive cipher now additive cipher is the simplest monoalphabetic cipher technique and it is also known as shift cipher now how it will work we will use here encryption algorithm and decryption algorithm for the encryption of the plain text we will use this algorithm and for the decryption we will use this one here c is the cipher text p is the plain text k is the key so in order to generate the cipher text after encryption we will use this that is cipher text is equal to plain text plus key mod of 26 and for decryption plain text we want now plain text so plain text is equal to cipher text minus key mod of 26 here as you can see suppose we have two user Alice and Bob and they want to Alice want to send a message to Bob now they are using a secret key that is shared between Alice and Bob now what is this key this key is nothing but just the integer value that they are using for the encryption and decryption of the plain text here in the encryption algorithm you can see we are adding a key in the plain text and in the decryption algorithm what we are doing we are subtracting the key from the cipher text as we are talking about here mod so we need to understand what is mod that is the modular arithmetic how we can compute mod so in the modular arithmetic we are interested in only one output that is remainder r so what we will do just divide a by n and know the value of the r here mod is modulo operator and n is the input r is the remainder suppose we want to solve 27 mod 5 so divide a by n find q and r keep the value of r so when we will divide 27 by 5 that is 5 5 is up 25 that is you will got remainder 2 so 27 mod 5 is 2 now we will use here for example we will use additive cipher with key 15 to encrypt the masses hello so for the encryption we will use encryption algorithm and this is the encryption algorithm as you can see here we are using key value here 15 so what is the secret key as we are talking here when the user want to send the message to another user and they are using the secret key secret key is nothing but just the integer value that is used for the encryption and decryption so that the attacker cannot access the masses during the transmission so here what we will do we will apply this algorithm on the plain text that is hello character by character here you can see we have five characters h e l l o 
so we will apply this on each character so we have value for key value of the k is 15 now we need the value for the plain text so you can see here alphabets and for each alphabet we have respective values for h you can see the value is 7 for e value is 4 for l value is 11 for o value is 14 done now we will encrypt this message character by character so first one is h and the value for h is here 07 put the value here value of plain text that is h is 7 value of the key is 15 then mod of 26 <coughs> after solving this you will get you will get the value 22 then check in this table you can see the value 22 here and the respective alphabet for 22 is w then assign the letter here next character is e for e check the value value is 4 put the value in the encryption we have 0 4 plus value of the key more 26 after calculation you will got 19 and then check the value for 19 here you can see this is the 19 and the alphabet at 19 is T now we will check for next letter that is L value for L is 11 put the value here put the value of the key calculate the mod and you will got value 00, 0 and at 00, 0 we have a so like that we will encrypt all the characters now we will apply decryption algorithm now we are using addit additive cipher with key again 15 now we will decrypt the message we got this is the cipher text we got after encryption that is WTAAD now we will apply the decryption algorithm that is ciphertext minus key mod 26 so here you can see all the values so for w we have value is 22 so put the value of the ciphertext that is 22 put the value of the key calculate the mod and you will got 7 and at 7 we have h done for the next character that is t value is here for the t you can see value is 19 put the value here and then put the value of the key calculate the mod and you will got the value 4 and at 4 we have e for next we have a value is 0 key is 15 calculate the mod you will got 11 at 11 we have l like that we will decrypt all the characters so, so this is the simple technique that we are using here for the encryption and decryption using secret key now we have another technique of the monoalphabetic substitution cipher that is at best cipher this is also a monoalphabetic substitution cipher and used used to encrypt the message using Hebrew alphabet so how this cipher work it used specific key where the letter of the alphabet are reversed for example a is replaced by G, B is replaced by Y, and the pattern continue. So how this cipher will work? We will reverse the letter in order to create the cipher text and how to encrypt using this cipher. Once you generated the cipher text, encryption is very easy. You need to place the each plain text letter with the corresponding cipher text letter in the table. So let's see with an example. For example, we have a given plain text that is at the cipher. Now we want to generate the cipher text for this. So for A, you can see here in the table, for A, we will replace A with G. For T, T, as you can see here, T with G. For B, B with Y, as you can see here. For A, we will replace A with this one and for H you can see here for H is replaced with S for C we will replace this with X for P you can see here P we will replace this with K so that's how this cipher work so that's all about this video we discussed what is 
adverse cipher technique and what is monoalphabetic substitution cipher technique that is the additive cipher technique how we can use secret key for the encryption and decryption of this message so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video